Iran has reached a historic agreement with major world powers over its nuclear program. But what is Iran giving up? And how does it benefit in the long run? The 109-page document boils down to five main areas. Number 1. Iran's Uranium Stockpile Uranium is the key ingredient necessary in order to operate a nuclear program. The deal requires Iran to give up 97% of its enriched uranium, taking its stockpile from 10,000 kilograms down to just 300 kilograms. That's much less than what's needed to fuel one nuclear weapon, although Iran maintains the capacity to increase the stockpile quickly. Number 2. Uranium Enrichment Uranium comes in different levels of enrichment. A purity of 90% is what's needed to make a weapon. Per the deal, Iran can still produce a modest amount of uranium enriched at low levels, just 3.67%. And if Iran abides by the deal, enrichment is limited in this way for 15 years. Number 3. Reduction of Centrifuges Centrifuges are the machines used to enrich uranium. Iran has to give up two-thirds of its centrifuges. Some 19,000 used for enrichment need to be reduced to about 5,000. Iran can also have a thousand more for research and development. So what this means is, if Iran abides by the deal, for the next decade it will take Iran at least 12 months to produce enough fuel for a nuclear weapon. And to make sure it doesn't cheat, there will be Number 4. Inspections UN inspectors will be allowed to monitor nuclear and other sites, including military ones, but Iran can challenge requests for access. The inspectors need to provide a basis for concern about undeclared nuclear activity. Any Iranian challenge could delay inspections for up to 24 days. Critics say that could be enough time for Tehran to remove evidence it was carrying out banned activities. So what does Iran get for accepting all of this? Number 5. Sanctions Relief the US, the European Union, and the United Nations will relieve many energy, economic, and financial sanctions against Iran that have been crippling the country's economy. Sanctions will likely lift early next year if Iran complies with the principal requirements in the deal. This is great news for Iran's 82 million people, as it's expected to massively boost the economy, increase trade, and bring new investment into the country. So what's everyone else saying? The Obama administration and many European allies see the agreement as a major victory for diplomacy between Iran and the West. This moment has been a long time coming. Every pathway to a nuclear weapon is cut off. But the deal has angered some critics in Republican-led Congress and some parts of the Middle East, including Israel and Saudi Arabia. What a stunning, historic mistake. They say the deal lifts all economic pressure on Iran and worry that this windfall will increase Tehran's funding of organizations like Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Assad regime in Syria. They also say the deal only curbs Iran's nuclear program for 10 to 15 years, allowing Iran to move back to the brink of nuclear weapon status without paying any price.